Right now, federal investigators are trying to figure out what caused a commuter train to crash in Hoboken, New Jersey. The train slammed into a station, killing one person and injuring 114 others. A packed commuter train barreled into the Hoboken station after it smashed through a barrier during the height of morning rush hour. A horrendous, horrendous exploding noise and concrete dust, electrical wires, and, and a train flying into the depot. The crash caused part of the roof to collapse onto the first train car where David Milak was standing. Lights went out, then just didn't stop, and people were falling over who were standing, and then it just, the, the roof came down. Passengers inside helped each other escape. The person behind me, he was bloody. He had a, a cut on his head, but was very, wanted to make sure, okay, everyone's okay. People on the platform scrambled to safety. More than 100 of them were hurt. Around 50,000 train and bus riders use this station every day. It's a popular transfer point between commuters on their way across the river to New York City. Amy Krulowitz says the crash changed her life. I'm afraid to get back on the train. I'm sure staying home tomorrow. Investigators will now try to figure out what happened. We have no indication that this is anything other than a tragic accident. The engineer who was driving that train is out of the hospital, and we're told he's reportedly cooperating with the investigators. Meanwhile, New Jersey Transit Service in and out of Hoboken is suspended indefinitely.